On April 21st, 2023, Stalin led DMK government in Tamil Nadu pass the Factories Tamil Nadu Amendment Bill 2023 in the Assembly. It is a bill to amend the Factories Act 1948. This is to insert many provisions in it which eventually empower the government to exempt any factory or group of factories from certain provisions dealing with the working hours of the workers and their wages. The DMK government could pass this bill with their thumping majority where not only the opposition but also their own allies including the prominent left parties and VCK walked out of the assembly protesting against the bill. Various trade unions quickly and strongly condemned the bill. Protests happened at many places in the state. CITU leader A. Soundar Rajan and leader of the IT Employees Union Velkin explain about the issues with the bill. The, the new amendment is a 65A, a new class has been introduced uh, in the um, uh, current uh, uh, session of the Legislative Assembly. That bill says that in the Factory Act, section 51, 52, 54, 55, 56 and 59, all these uh, clauses uh, uh, may be uh, exempted to one factory or many factories or group of factories uh, like that. Factories can get exemption from these sections mean factories can uh, in, introduce working hours, more than 80 hour, 8 hours and then the uh, overtime wages, spread over time, rest time, um, all these things involved in these sections, in these classes. This means that uh, employers can um, extract uh, the labor of a particular worker, but, but, but workers uh, whatever uh, time they want. That means uh, the government is giving uh, um, all uh, support, government is giving every uh, chances to the manager, to, to the employers to exploit the workers and in, to, to maximize their profit. That, that, is the, uh, uh, that, that is going to be the effect of this amendment. The IT minister has claimed that they have enacted this because of request from IT MNCs and we are shocked to hear that because already IT MNCs are pushing the employees to work beyond 10 hours or 12 hours citing project deadlines but now they are going to legalize it once it is legalized then the reason to push the work hours to 14 hours or 16 hours will be very very much likely and these work hours are not being factored in along with the travel time in the high traffic areas where it takes almost one hour or so to reach the office. So considering all this, this 12 hour workday will not stop at just 12 hours. It is going to extend to 14 hours or 15 hours considering the work time and the delay, the travel time. The Modi government formulated four labor codes which replace many existing labor laws in the name of ease of doing business. Non-BJP ruling states did not implement these codes, saying it is against the workers' interest. According to the trade union leaders, the DMK also opposed it. But their present government in the state is trying to move in similar lines. This act, this type of uh, exemption have been given in the code, Occupational uh, um, Health, uh, Security, Health and Working Conditions Code, already which was passed in parliament, already it, it, this amendment has been introduced in the code, central government's code. But that act has not been implemented so far. Even before that, state government of Tamil Nadu is uh, jumped and uh, uh, take this uh, amendment in the assembly, in the, uh, in the assembly. This is a shocking thing. Uh, we, we, the CITU has not expected from this type of an amendment, which is affect the workers' uh, health, workers' longevity and everything and, uh, and also CITU uh, expressed its uh, uh, deep sorrow and uh, CITU condemned it, this, uh, this amendment. The existing process in the Factory Act should be there. This type of exemptions to the factories, one factory or several factories or group of factories 
um, uh, should uh, spoil the industrial relations, should spoil the industrial peace in, in Tamil Nadu. Uh, certainly, the workers will resist this type of amendment, this type of attack on the workers, especially the on working hours, which is more more important for the health and longevity for the worker, which is um, uh, totally uh, to be opposed by the TU, by the trade unions, we are opposing it. Investments come with the idea of high exploitation. It is not going to benefit the state or the country. On the other hand, we are highly skilled laborers working in the industry with the lakhs and lakhs of employees produced year on year by the engineering colleges of Tamil Nadu. On that background, we are very attractive uh, state for investments already. Going back to 150 year of workday by this act is something regressive and it is not social justice. So, on that uh, background, we uh, we like to criticize and we like to reiterate that only skill should be the factor and the manpower should be the factor to bring in more investments, not high exploitation. The Once you increase 12 hours, then in a day, you will have 3 hours shift usually for the current 9 hours work. Once you increase it to 12 hours, then it becomes 2 day shift and uh, one shift of employees will be unemployed. So, it is not going to increase the employment in any factor and it is going to destroy the livelihood of the employees by destroying their health without any uh, consideration to the impact it costs on the family fabrics. So, considering this, we demand the government should not go ahead with this. The industrial minister has told it is only for selected uh, sector, but again, uh, it is flawed because one, the amendment states that they can exempt any industry without any, uh, they have asked or they have got the approval from the assembly to exempt any industry. So, it is not going to start, stop with single industry. Moreover, the will of the current DMK government to increase the work hour, which will impact both society and the employees, will be extended to all industries and it will not only stop at particular industries. So, on that background, we are going to oppose this. So many protests have happened in Tamil Nadu in a short period, immediately after the introduction of the bill. CITU and all the other trade unions decided to have a massive protest on May 12th. On the 24th evening, along with the sideline of negotiation with trade union leaders, the Chief Minister's office tweeted that the bill will be on hold. The government was forced to do so because of the united voice of the workers and others concerned. Not only from the state, but also got backlash from the various corners across the country. This became a landmark victory for the workers and their rights when May Day is around the corner.